Contrast is very important in an HD lens. When you hear cinematographers speak about the performance of a lens, you'll often hear them use words like the brilliance of the image, the vividness, the clarity. And what they're really talking about there is a combination of the contrast characteristic of the lens and its sharpness. And the two are inextricably tied. To elevate contrast capability of a lens, you must deal with the two boundaries that the lens itself is contending with as it images a scene. One is in the dark regions of the scene, how well it can reproduce those dark regions. And if there's deep blacks in the scene, how well it can deliver a deep black at the output. That's fundamentally important and a large part of the optical science and design of a lens. The upper boundary is contending with very strong lights, headlights, the sun that will come into the input port of a lens and create a lot of spurious reflections, ghosts and artifacts. And there's a lot of science in the optomechanics of a lens to deal with those. And lens designers are always trying to open up these boundaries. Now let's talk about these, uh, the contrast and the management of the black area. Every element within a lens has two air to glass surfaces. And when light comes in, and strikes that, there is a reflection of a, somewhere between 4 and 8 percent depending on the material of the glass. It passes through and there's a second reflection. This reflection is going back to the input port of the lens. And of course as you march through all of the elements of a lens, you are losing a percentage of light. Eight elements that are untreated will deliver only 50 percent of the light. Uh, these lenses can have over 20 elements in them, so it's a serious issue. Also, these reflections, as they go back to the port, in themselves are encountering elements on the way back and creating secondary ref reflections which go back to the output port of the lens. And they can cause ghosting, and if there's highlights in the scene, you can get strange flares around them, and they are accumulating to contaminate your blacks. The solution to this was actually a legacy of World War II when we were trying to get binoculars a lot better, is to apply metallic coatings to the lens with great precision, special chosen materials, very exotic, expensive materials, deposited a quarter of a wavelength thick, and they will generate a secondary reflection which counters, cancels that first reflection. And now your 8% light loss is regained. However, one coating will only work over a small range of wavelengths, and that 4 to 8 percent can be beaten down to about 0.1 percent with a good coating. But we must deal with many wavelengths, 400 to 700 nanometers, so we must put multiple layers of different compounds on each and every surface. The end result of that today is with a lens with some dozens of elements in it, we can get transmission efficiencies over 80%. So we have a very bright image coming out, and by removing all these reflections, we've made the blacks superb. So we're making our bright parts of the image brighter and the blacks blacker. That is increasing the contrast, and that's terrifically important. And that will be linked to MTF that we'll speak about in another lecture.